Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain in the UK, standing at 1,344 metres tall or 4,411 feet tall, about as big as my willy. This mountain is in the Scottish Highlands, hours away from where most people live, and it is uh, incredibly high, and on the other hand, something that is incredibly low. My channel. Ironically, my channel has also been on a deep downhill slope and uh, I need to revive it. So please subscribe and like this video because I need to pay my bills. So what I want to do is climb to the top of this mountain and plant a flag that says subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Some plan, that is. Beat that, Team Trees. I've heard better plans from a Tory government. <laughs> That's a joke for all my viewers over the age of 50. 150,000 people climb this mountain every single year. And granted, uh, not all of them have a good time. Maybe in a... Uh, maybe in one of them. But every year, several people also do die. There's not a huge chance that you'll die, but... Uh, there is a chance. It's like getting a lottery ticket, but with death. Ben Nevis actually means venomous mountain in Gaelic, which makes it sound like some sort of nickname for a STD infected willy. Not that I would know, just to clarify. The closest I've got to something venomous is when somebody spiked my kettle after I had a house party. That wasn't the, the best cup of tea I've ever had. But nevertheless, um, here goes nothing. Let's hope I return with a beaten heart. If not, eh, tell my dog I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number one key for climbing Ben Nevis, Adam? Merch. Oh, Jesus, I look fat as you. I look like Mark Henry. Oh, oh, I like it. I like it. What's the launch date, Adam? Sorry. March 20th. Yes, that is merch. Yep, I bet you're... I bet you're buzzing about that one. Merch that will make you look really cool and definitely won't get you bullied at school. It's comfy, cosy and cool. I mean, we climbed a mountain in minus 10 degrees weather in it. We'll be releasing on Friday, March 20th, so go to the website lewisbucking.shop and register your email so you'll be notified when it launches. It's 6.47am. We have just watched Tyson Fury obliterate Deontay Wilder. And, and sing a song. And, and sing a song. And now, it is time for us to obliterate even someone bigger than Deontay Wilder, Ben Nevis. Thanks, Ben. And this is a three hour journey, and I'm risking my life for you, so like the video, please. I get a message off like one of my mates every day, like my real mates, uh, and they're like, seen somebody wearing your merch, wanted to stab. <laughs> I'm like, fair enough. I wanna see you in slow motion. Come stay the night, we can stay up till it's bright. In the morning, got the top open. Come take a ride, we can go where you like I wanna see you in slow motion Come stay the night, we can stay till it's bright and This merch is great and so comfy That water does look awfully clear Kinda wanna drink it Alright, can we get an outfit check? This is the, uh, the fall winter collection uh -huh. from Loose Bucking Family Dad Got a new Columbia jacket, fresh, works for keeping me dry Oh Goggles Prices <laughs> Duh uh, helmet, got a balaclava, courtesy balaclava. of Adam's dad. Um, we've got a jacket, courtesy of my dad. Waterproof trousers, courtesy of charity. And got my dad's shoes on. I've also got Lewis Buckins' dad's shoes on. I'm gonna drink that water the first opportunity I get. We look like we're about to do a GTA heist. This is a risk, um, and that's why I like it. If the mountain takes me, it's probably for a good reason. Mate, you look like a LGBTQ plus Michelin man. It's been three hours. Kidding! It's been 10 minutes and the car park's over there and the mountain's there. By the way, me being an idiot, I actually thought that was a mountain. I couldn't have been any more wrong. And I'm absolutely knackered. Adam's already got cramp, he's already stretching. Oh, I'm here! I'm here! Hello! Hello! I'm here! That's one death already. Jesus, mate. Mo Farah's changed a bit, hasn't he? <laughs> That's really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you ready to see this? Might not look that high. Trust me. It's really high. As you can see, the snow's picked up a bit. Somebody told us that we're only a third the way there. And they pretty much told us that we're f in the nicest way possible, they said, not gonna lie, guys, we've just turned back here. Adam, you know what I realised? I look like I delivered a driver. 
Sorry to interrupt guys, but this video is actually sponsored. It is sponsored by the amazing guys at Adrian Flux. I love you, Adrian Flux. I would die for you. They've helped me fund this trip to make it possible, so I really would appreciate if you could help me and them by checking them out. Adrian Flux ensure thousands of young drivers all over the UK. They can ensure you when you've passed your test or when you're still learning or even on your parents' car. Learner driver policies can be even as cheap as 85 pence per day. How cheap is that? That's like a pick can mix out the shop. That's about as expensive as about four Freddos. Also, Adrian Flux are also giving out a pair of AirPods Pro and some Amazon vouchers. So if you visit the link in the description, you can win them. So if you are going to do anything after this video, don't claim Ben Nevis, check out Adrian Flux. Right, we just passed this Romanian guy and he was like, uh, no, no, you're not good at the top. You're not good at the You can't see. White. It's white. You cannot see. I have everything. All the equipment. I still can't see the top. <laughs> it's not looking likely, boys and girls, because we don't have all the equipment. I just got my half my dad stuff. I want to see you in slow motion. Come stay the night. We can stay till it's bright in the morning. Got the top. They're running up it. They, they, they are taking the utter piss out of us. Mate, how on earth are you running up this? Fitness? I'm a YouTuber! <laughs> Anything about fitness. Can we just say that we've climbed about two hours now? We're knackered. These boys are running up it. I feel useless. This is must have how my dad felt when I was born. <laughs> yeah, fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Come on, subscribe. He's coming to subscribe. Yes, that was me waving a white flag, which is also a symbol for surrendering or needing help in front of a rescue helicopter. That's like waving sugar in front of somebody with diabetes. I felt like such a horrible person and the worst part was, I didn't even mean it. Also, I would just like to say on a serious note, this is no joke. Climbing the tallest mountain in the UK can be very dangerous and it does actually kill people very regularly. So if you are going to do this, I would research it to the absolute max and if not, go with somebody that is very experienced. Literally, the morning me and Adam went up this, somebody has gone missing and they're still missing to this day. And I don't know about you, but if you're missing for three days in minus 10 weather, you're probably dead. Even though I'm making jokes in this, this is still a very serious situation that I was taking very seriously. I'd done weeks of research and preparing for this. So I'd just like to say that in case you do, you know, fancy doing this yourself. Which I do recommend, it is great fun and the views are beautiful. But nevertheless, um, back to the video. Mate, how are you not dying? You're hot! I, I know you're good looking like, but... <laughs> hey, hi guys, hey, remember, don't eat yellow snow! <laughs> I think that's like the unfunniest joke people used to say to me. We're not too experienced with snow, um, especially not this kind of snow. <laughs> um, joking. And pretty much everyone that we've passed has been like, yeah, you'll get fired up, but you, you, you're not getting to the top. So I was like, I, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm not getting to the top. <laughs> oh, we'll see. This guy was wearing shorts. Bear in mind, he is probably dead or very seriously ill now. Wouldn't be surprised if he's got pneumonia. Meanwhile, me and Adam were wrapped up like the Michelin man, and this guy that we found was pretty much naked. <laughs> or at least I wish he was. <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? Hailstones. Hailstones. So if you look over there, we're way higher than most of the mountains. We're probably higher than most of the mountains in the UK, but but, there is a big but. There's loads of people up there, so it is safe. But the question is, will we get there before the sun goes down? I, I do not think so. There you go, there's people over there. You like Patrick the starfish? Look at you. Okie dokie. Nah, that's all snow. That's all snow. You jumping in? <laughs> oh, mate. My leg went down to about my five. Snow. My mum's been sitting worrying like, Lace, you, Lace, you're gonna die. And this is me. Uh, snow. Ooh. Slide down. Go on, go on. Oh, wow. Wow, we're such virgins. Wow. <laughs> you're like a <laughs> f***ing ostrich, mate. You and I, we a mismatch. Uh, your life goes already. Hollywood Hills with a battery on my right, left. I've just went live, let's say, 10 seconds ago on Instagram when it focuses. We're up. So, over 150,000 people visit this every year, and they're going to be reminded to subscribe to my channel because it's dying and I need help. Please, please help me. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yes!
Yes, boys and girls, so we made it all the way to the top. <laughs> no, uh, we didn't. We made it about 70% the way up. A bit like my willy, and that's on erectile dysfunction. But yeah, um, if we went any much higher, experts were telling us and other climbers were telling us that pretty much um, we are screwed. These guys were coming down with spiky shoes, pickaxes, ropes, GPS and big sticks. And even they were saying, guys, if you just go up, Yous will die. Is that what yous would have wanted, actually? Now that I think of it, probably yes. Yous probably would have wanted me to get crushed in an avalanche just in the off chance that you wouldn't have to watch one of my videos ever again. All the other climbers were saying we would have needed pickaxes, and I don't know about you, but the only pickaxes I've used is the ones in Minecraft. But yes, boys and girls, that is it. The flag is planted. Over 150,000 people per year will see the sign that says, Subscribe to Lewis Buckin. Not gonna lie, even that wouldn't save my channel, so please do leave a like and subscribe if you are brand new. But let's be honest, if somebody did come across this flag, they would probably search my name up, then want to jump off the mountain. But, um, nevertheless, there we go. Our job was complete. Also, if there's any environmentalists watching this, no, we did not leave the flag up there before you start crying. But I did see a mouse fall into a river and um, die, and it kind of made me want to cry. But here's a like go boys and girls, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will climb this mountain again in the summer. We climbed up that. <laughs>